Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. We are truly grateful for your constant support and to all of our subscribers, we want to say a big thank you. Your engagement helps us to keep creating and sharing these enriching stories with all of you. If you enjoy our videos and haven't yet subscribed, please do so now and don't forget to give this video a like. Your likes motivate us to continue bringing videos like this. Now let's dive into today's topic. Have you ever considered how a wall could change the course of history and affect millions of lives? Today, we're exploring the history of the Berlin Wall. In the aftermath of World War II, the map of Germany was redrawn by the victorious powers. The United States, the United Kingdom, France, and the Soviet Union each claimed a piece of the pie, dividing the country into four occupation zones. But the city of Berlin, sitting like an island amidst the Soviet zone, was in itself fractured into four sectors, each mirroring the larger division of Germany. Here's a fact that might surprise you. The Berlin Wall was not the first barrier to slice through the city. In 1948, a full 13 years before the birth of the infamous wall, the Soviet authorities had already sealed off the borders between the eastern and western sectors of Berlin. This initial closure, however, was nothing compared to what was to come. Fast forward to 1961 and the East German authorities erected the Berlin Wall. This was no ordinary wall, it was a concrete embodiment of the Cold War, a stark division between East and West. On one side lay East Berlin, under the watchful eye of the communist regime, and on the other side was West Berlin, the shining capital of the Federal Republic of Germany. The wall was much more than a physical barrier. It was a symbol of the ideological chasm that ran not only through the heart of Berlin, but also through the whole world during that era. It was a grim reminder of the human cost of political ideologies as families were ripped apart and freedom was curtailed. This was the beginning of a city and a nation torn in two. Now picture this. A wall over 155 kilometers long dividing a bustling city. This wasn't a scene from a dystopian novel, but the harsh reality of Berlin from 1961 to 1989. The Berlin Wall, erected by the East German authorities, served as a physical manifestation of the ideological gulf separating East and West Berlin. The wall was more than just a barrier of concrete and barbed wire. It was a symbol of the Cold War, a stark reminder of the ideological conflict between communism and democracy. Its primary purpose? To prevent East Germans from fleeing to the West in search of better opportunities and freedom. Life in East Berlin was a stark contrast to that in the West. Under the watchful eyes of the Stasi, the East German secret police, Citizens lived under a communist regime, with restrictions on freedom of expression, movement, and access to information. On the other side of the wall, West Berlin thrived under a democratic system, enjoying a higher standard of living and greater freedoms. Yet, despite the risks and the watchful eyes of the border guards, many East Germans were willing to risk it all to escape to the West. These daring escape attempts often involved elaborate plans from tunnel digging to hot air balloon flights, However, the consequences of being caught were severe, often resulting in imprisonment or even death. But the wall did more than just divide a city, it divided families, friends, and loved ones. It was a constant reminder of a world divided, a world where freedom was not a given, but a privilege available only to some. Despite the harsh realities of life in East Berlin, the spirit of its people remained unbroken. They yearned for freedom, for a life without the wall, and as we'll discover in the next scene, their yearning would not go unanswered. Life on either side of the wall was a world apart. In 1989, the winds of change began to blow. The Berlin Wall that had stood as a stark symbol of division for nearly three decades was about to crumble. The Cold War was thawing, and the East German government, under mounting pressure, announced that its citizens could now freely cross into West Berlin. This marked a significant turning point, a victory for freedom, a triumph for the human spirit. Emotions ran high as East and West Berliners, who had been separated by this colossal concrete barrier, now came together in a euphoric celebration of liberty. Families reunited, friends embraced, and strangers danced in the streets. The once impenetrable wall was now being torn down piece by piece by the very people it had divided. The fall of the Berlin Wall marked the end of an era and the start of a new chapter in Germany's history. The Berlin Wall, a symbol of division and oppression, is now a symbol of unity and freedom. Born out of the ashes of World War II, it stood as a grim testament to the ideological differences that split not just a city, but the world. This concrete barrier once dividing East and West Berlin, represented the stark contrast between two political systems. 
It was more than just a physical divide, it was a symbol of the Iron Curtain that separated two worlds, a world of freedom and a world of oppression. The fall of the Berlin Wall marked a significant turning point in history, heralding the end of the Cold War and the beginning of a new era of unity and freedom. It serves as a powerful reminder of the human spirit's relentless pursuit of freedom. Join us again tomorrow at 7 p.m. for another exciting dive into history. Until then remember, history is not just about the past, it's about understanding our present and shaping our future.